The Tour de Yorkshire 2017 routes have been announced at a press conference hosted by Welcome to Yorkshire's Chief Executive Sir Gary Verity. His pal, Tour de France director Christian Prudhomme was also there and he delighted cycling fans when he not only praised the new Yorkshire race but promised it would not be if but when the Tour de France returned to Yorkshire. We caught up with him afterwards to elaborate and to Gary to explain how the new Yorkshire race was going to show the county at its finest. We will be back. I, I don't know when, but the question is not if. I don't know if it will be in three years, five years, ten years. I don't know. I hope it won't be in 15 years because I'm afraid I would be too, it would be too late, too late for me. Man. But yes, we will be back. The most important is passion. Huge crowds everywhere. Bunting in the smallest villages. Smiles on everybody's face. And you have the outstanding scenery, the stunning backdrop of Yorkshire, the coastline, beautiful, the Yorkshire Dales, um, UNESCO uh, World Heritage Sites too during the race. So yes, we have everything to have a, a beautiful race. And the Grand Départ in Tour de France, it was only two years ago. We already made a, a big journey in two years. Three stunning stages for next year's race, the uh, final weekend of April, which is the first bank holiday weekend, the 1st of May is the Monday. Uh, we start in Bridlington, we're going from Bridlington to Scarborough, we're going to some places we've not been to before, like Driffield and Pocklington, an iconic Yorkshire Hill in Garraby Hill, uh, taking people up there, and then that stunning finish in Scarborough that we've, uh, that we've done before, and we love going there. The second stage is a really interesting stage, 122 kilometers, Tadcaster to Harrogate, going over the new bridge in Tadcaster, um, a climb at Loft House up the back from the Crown Hotel there going over to Massam, uh, past uh, Fountains Abbey, uh, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and the uh, same finish as the Tour de France uh, in 2014 in, uh, in Harrogate. And the third stage, we called it the Yorkshire Terrier, it's a beast. We, we, we start here in Bradford, go past Saltaire, another UNESCO World Heritage Site, we go up into the Dales, for Bolton Abbey and Burnsall, we're back to Skipton, we're back to Keighley, Haworth, Queensbury, Shipden Wall. You know, if people haven't, haven't seen it, you know, have a look at Shipden Wall. What a climb that is. It's the toughest of all the climbs, 13.5% average. Um, and then we're heading to Peniston, the highest market town in the country. Uh, and we're going to, to Fox Valley, to Stocksbridge, for a finish with a loop, 22 kilometers loop. And in the final 11 kilometers, four King of the Mountains climb. It's brutal. Well, I'm, I'm excited to see the, uh, the route uh, presentation now today. I think it's, uh, it, it's, it's three days with a bit of something for all, all types of riders. We're just gonna, gonna be in for a treat there. Uh, it's something I'd love to have been part of if I was uh, 20 or 30 years younger, I've got to admit, but uh, you know, sadly those days are behind me. So it's magnificent for Alzheimer's Society that Tour de Yorkshire have chosen us to be their main charity partner. It's such an opportunity for us. The Tour de Yorkshire is an international, vibrant event. Everybody gets involved. It involves local communities and people around um, Yorkshire, businesses, school children, families. And that gives us the opportunity to really raise, raise awareness of dementia across Yorkshire and internationally and nationally. And also to be able to continue to raise funds. But you know, we have um, well over 100,000 people affected by dementia, plus their families in Yorkshire. And this is a fantastic opportunity for us to be able to engage with those people and help to raise funds and support them um, to live their lives that they want to live.